stupid people will always find a way to make themselves look even dumber than they actually are. And I'm not just saying in terms of them wanting attention, them being like, <laughs> I'm so stupid, I got like 3% on a maths test. No, they'll start arguing for something and they will somehow come up with such a dumb argument that they just look dumb and today i've come across genuinely the perfect example of it so i hope you guys have got your anti-stupid hats on because otherwise the stupidness might actually find its way into your brain you know whilst you'll be listening to the video it might slowly radiate and corrupt your mind into being dumb so uh yeah let's get into it oh, oh yeah because you don't accept cash yes yes that's it circumstances you can't give a change today so i'm not allowed to accept cash today <laughs> hey hey you you ever heard of anything like this i mean yeah i have I love how he tried to get like a second opinion on it. He was like, hey, dude, check out this idiot. He won't accept my cash. And the guy's like, yeah, actually, it happens a fair amount, actually. You know, it's annoying. Yeah, I understand. But as long as you're not born back in 1920, you'll probably have a card. So just pay with your card and call it a day. And it's just like, no, bro, no one agrees with you. You're just looking stupid here. <laughs> Do me this favor, quit wasting our time, just go, there's nothing we can do Quit, quit wasting it, you're gonna kick me out because I have money. No, I, as I've said, we can't accept it. <laughs> I don't know why the guy's laughing. He's acting like it's some sort of funny situation here. Like, oh, a comedy script, right? Oh, no, this is so ridiculous. That's why I'm laughing. Not because I'm so embarrassed at the fact that I didn't bring my card with me because I thought, yeah, I'm going to go against the future. Online money, it can be avoided by me. Nobody's protesting against it. I will. Like, no, man, like, I don't understand the kind of point this guy's trying to make here. He could have literally just said, okay, you know what, not a problem, I'll be back in, like, 20 minutes, can you just leave my sandwich on the side? The guy probably would have been like, yeah, fine, no problem, and he could have just come back and paid for a sandwich. Like, there were so many other ways of working around this, but for some unbelievable reason, he just decided to cause a big deal out of it. What do you want? Oh my me? god, you people are ridiculous. Are you real? Like, it's just circumstances. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, so you're going to throw food in the garbage because somebody walks in with money to buy the food they ordered. And you <laughs> Now, this is why I actually think this guy might be stupid. Because for some reason, he thinks that the guy that's made his sandwich just doesn't want to accept his money. And for some reason, the guy can't conceptualize that actually he just can't accept the cash because he doesn't have any change. It's not that he doesn't want to. He probably wants to accept your money, but he can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, I'm sorry, I can't give you a free sandwich, alright? Look, I can't accept your cash, and I don't want to change the safe as a check already. There's something more I can do for you, and that's it. Of course. No, I hope you enjoy your free sandwich, because I know you're going to eat it, right? No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to trash it, because that's what I'm supposed you're to eat. <laughs> Honestly, I have so much respect for the worker here. Like, he is just following regulations. He's doing exactly what he's meant to be doing. Now, if I was in his situation, I probably would have eaten the sandwich. But honestly, knowing the customer, he probably has some weird shit in his sandwich. I mean, I don't even want to know what this guy's brain looks like, let alone what his fucking food looks like. <laughs> Do you accept Bitcoin? What? Apple Pay, Google Pay. We can't catch it. What? I'm not trying to kick my eyes outside. No, you're fine. I, I just don't know how to handle this situation. I've waited years for this to happen. How boring does your life have to be for you to wait years for something like this to happen? It, it's not a good thing to happen to anyone. Like, how do you not know how to handle the situation? Just fucking leave. I get it. You're embarrassed. You can't pay for your sandwich. Boo hoo. Big deal. There's so many other ways that this guy could have walked around it to actually look fucking cool whilst getting his selective payment declined. Like, he could have just said, hey, man. Man, is all right if I just send you the money and then you pay for on your card. I don't understand why it's such a big deal for this guy. Like, as long as he has an app on his phone or he has some sort of money on his card, he could have easily just paid someone. But no, he's causing a big deal out of nothing. What happened? This exact moment, it just blows my mind. It's utterly comical. I want to enjoy it a little bit. There you go. Tap on your screen. Honestly, I don't know what to say anymore. Like, like this guy's brain is like a fucking peanut. What's there to enjoy about this? Like, oh yeah, let me just savor the moment. I can't get a sandwich because... 
they won't accept cash. Oh, right. And this is the world. Oh, oh, oh yes. Brother, just, just adapt to evolution. Just get yourself a fucking card and pay that way. Yes, maybe you don't want to have your money in a bank account. Just put it in something else then. Put it into an investment. Buy shit that's going to hold its value like gold. I, I don't get it. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, can I have that? That's the receipt from the order. That's actually going to work. It's just to cancel it. Yeah, yeah, can I have that though? No. Why not? Just look on the back. We need it for our records. For what? For our records. Your records of what? If I was this guy's boss and I saw that he'd posted this video, I would actually fire him for being a fucking idiot. Like, the employee here is doing absolutely everything he can to somehow fix this situation. He's explaining things to him in a very basic manner. He's not making it complicated. And the guy's just behind his camera going, <laughs> I can't believe this, guys. Like, get a load of this. Seriously, this is unbelievable. He won't accept my cash. Like, why? I don't get it. He's explained it to me like four or five times, but it's just so comical, man. I just want to enjoy the moment. And then he's asking for the cancelled order report. Like, brother, what do you gain from that? Like, this guy's trying to be fucking funny it's like the worst place to try and be funny all he's doing is just embarrassing himself more and more just going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole you keep everything in record for all cancelled okay for okay. so all cancelled orders oh, digital currency it's really screwed over america hasn't it this guy is like a massive contradiction because no joke 20 seconds before he asked if he could pay with bitcoin like i don't care if you're joking or not he still knows that bitcoin is a digital currency and he probably has a bit of bitcoin but in what way has digital currencies slowed down the evolution of technology instead of having to whip your cash out now and pay for things or holding cash or holding gold in your own home you can put it in the bank or you can use a digital currency to invest into things to make more money how the fuck has that screwed over america i don't know if someone could somehow explain that to me that that would be amazing i know there have been some bad things coming from it you know maybe a slight lack of security because people can easily get into your bank accounts now through fraud but other than that i, I don't see any issues <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that. That was the, that was the epitome. What the fuck was he actually talking about there? Like, he was like, yeah, that was the episode. He put my sandwich in the bin, yo. That was it. This guy is genuinely stupid. Like, I know a lot of people joke online saying that the average American is dumb. This guy is significantly lower than the average American. And I'd actually go as far to say that people who are mentally disabled are actually smarter than this guy. Because even people like that in a situation like this would just deal with it and leave. This guy somehow managed to find a grudge over this situation and blame the employee. How? I don't know how the fuck he managed it. I don't know what kind of idiot you have to be, but he's he's done it. He, he really did it. He did the impossible. Anyway, wow. What a painful experience. What an awful video to watch. That's about it. See you.